Yo, what up, street togs, street vlogs, street demigod togs? All right, Eric, here I'm in the house. So why is everyone trying to look so cool, right? I think, uh, in fact, when people try to think cool and act cool and be cool, it actually is a serious sign of insecurity. So the truly confident man, person, individual would uh, essentially get rid of this notion of being cool. Like, for example, the simplest thing you could do is uh, get a pair of Vibram five finger shoes, wear them to the gym, wear them every day, like I do. And it's so funny, it's like everyone's trying to look so cool, it's like you get your Nikes, your Jordans, your Adidas. Like, y'all just a bunch of lemmings. I think it's actually, uh, even the notion of being cool or whatever, to be complimented on your shoes, it's like, it's like, I would rather congratulate a person or a man on their physical strength or their courage, how much they're willing to attempt. Like, this is why I like it when I see guys lifting heavy at the gym, benching over four plates, you know, squatting over five plates, that lifting over six plates, because it takes major courage to do so. And I think courage should be the only thing that's championed. And actually, if you think about it, the truly fashionable people are the ones who are willing to issue certain social norms. So for example, I've been rocking the croc top at the gym, just take my Lululemon shirt, roll it up, put a hair tie behind it, and just show off my little belly. And I was like, I think I'm like, girls do this all the time. The gym's like, why can't dudes do this? It's like, you're afraid that people are gonna judge you or think you're like weird or something? Or, you know, uh, people are gonna think you're gay? It's like, yeah, no, let, let them think what you think. It's just kind of like uh, trolling people, right? It's funny because like, yeah. At the gym, I like to talk to everybody. I like to talk to the pretty, pretty girls, the buff guys, everyone in between. So it's like, people try and figure out, like, who is this guy? It's like, coming here, it gets loud all the time, wearing crop tops, and wearing brightly colored clothes, whatever. And I think it's best to exhibit your courage and don't think about being cool. Like, if anything, one thing I wanted to teach Seneca as he grows older and stuff like that is to just kind of get rid of this notion of cool, cool, looking cool. But instead, to be courageous. Courageous in terms of his physical feats of strength. Uh, courageous to stand up for what he believes in. To share his thoughts on matters X, Y, and Z. And not to let the prejudices of society or traditional, you know, things kind of dissuade him. And so, yeah, I think uh, moving forward this year, let us strive to become less cool, more courageous.